What? Hey, everybody. Me and Silas are back, and we're going fishing in Silas's favorite fishing hole. Where's that, Sai? Ingles. <laughs> we're going to go up there and try to catch four or five sheephead. Go get in your seat. Let's, Let's go. Let's go catch a 10 pound brand. That's what sheephead fight like. You ready, Sai? Pumping the bulb. You are ready. Well, we got one, Sai. Uh, probably so. Is on a filler crab. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get him, buddy. Get him in the net. Get him in the net. Good job, man. It's all tangled up in mine. Huh? It's all tangled up in mine. Yeah, it's all tangled up, isn't it? Good netting job. The first fish of the day, 19-inch sheephead. He looks like he's been in pretty rough spots before, but um. That's the second crab, first fish. But man, I hope we get a boatload of these this morning. Can you give me a crab? Sure, but you can only fish with one pole at a time. I know. Right. Where's your crab at? Right here. Don't leave him just sitting there, son. He'll run off. The water's so dirty right here. Me and Silas almost didn't stop here we almost turned around and went somewhere else but on the first or second drop I caught that fish let it go all the way to the bottom it may take a little while to get to the bottom side keep your line tight this flat nose shovel I'm scraping down these barnacles right here. You got him? Reel him in, bud. Yeah, you did. Get him in. Oh, that's a good one, Sai. Get him over here. All right. Yes. All by yourself, dude. Yeah, it is. Yes. High five, man. Yes. yes. High five. That is a All by yourself. That is. by far, PB. <laughs> All right. I'll let you get the hook out of his mouth. I got to catch me one. I mean, I hadn't scratched that wall for 10 seconds. The it is by an inch. Good job. Put him in the live well. Let's catch some more. Get him in. Huh? That ain't a baby. You're just used to catching monsters. All right, I'm going to lift your pole up like this. All right. <laughs> Silas is two up, or one up. He's got Silas two, daddy one. He is. 14 inches. Oh, oh he's a he's a hoss, si. All right, coming around this side. What if I get one? Huh? What if I get one? All right, I'm gonna try to get him up here pretty quick then. Oh, that's a big one. All right, you ready to get him? Get him in the net, si. All right, throw him in the boat. Good job. That doesn't take much, just a little bit, and they'll be here. Gum it. Yep. Broke my line. Yeah, toss it right over there by that column, sir. Oh. I was trying to turn the camera on, bud. Here, I just broke my line. Silas dropped, dropped down and caught the fish. Way to catch my fish, Si. <laughs> Probably not that long. Yeah. 
Well, me and Silas are sitting here. Silas is still fishing. I've broke my line on sheephead as, as, as many times as I put a sheephead in the boat this morning. How many we got in the box, Si? Five or six? I, I think we got we got five or six sheephead in the box already. And I don't want to clean a whole bunch of sheephead. They're, they're difficult to clean. So I'm going to take a break and let Silas catch a few. And our fiddler crabs. You got one? Yep. Silas on. On the sofa. On the Oh, it's paid off. What? Paid off. Dad gummit. We, we've caught them all on filler crabs so far. But the bucket that I have them in is really muddy and Silas got tired of digging around for them. So he put a sand flea, a gulp sand flea on and just got a bite. I think it'll work. Catch it once, Silas. Especially when they're biting good. Let me let me get to digging up some filler crabs. All right, I caught a bunch of those filler crabs again. The ones I lost inside my bucket, and so we got about ten or twelve of them. Finished a cup of coffee. Now we're gonna scrape these columns again and put a few more in the boat. You ready, sir? Silas, if you have a knot in your line and that fish pulls on it real hard, that knot will cut your line. Dad, why is there a tight rope? I don't know why that rope's there, but we'll pick it up. Put your hand on that wall and don't let the boat hit it. It's a baby. This may be where the baby's hanging out, Si. Yeah, he's pretty small. So I throw him back and let's get a bigger one. I've never had to throw back a sheephead in my life. <laughs> oh, there he is. Got yep. Gotta get him around this rope. <sighs> Watch out, Si. I'm gonna swing him in. You can't get to him. Medium size. Good, I like medium size. A six year old can get a pole tied up better than anybody else in the world. All sorts of tangled. All right, there you go, Sal. Sal's put it right by that column, let it go all the way to the bottom, and then just barely pick it up and it'll hit it. It's fiddler crabs, just hooking them base of the leg coming out the top. I got a size number one hook on a fiddler crab, two split shots, 20 pound fluorocarbon on 20 pound braid. Dropping it all the way to the bottom. Gotta let it go all the way to the bottom. Sitting about 20 or 30 foot of water, 34 foot of water. So it takes a minute to get there. Still falling, still falling. Oh, there's the bottom. Reel it up, about a foot. Push this off of that wall a little bit, so. Si. <sighs> yep. Right there by that column, so si, right where I scraped those barnacles. Got him? Real, real fast, real fast, uh, real fast. Oh! Got off. I've had to switch to a larger size hook than what I was using earlier because we, all the hooks either broke or the line broke. And so we're not getting as many hookups as we were. This is the next step in our game plan for today. I have three more fiddler crabs 
And Silas is gonna continue fishing for white trout back over here in his honey hole. I'm gonna go over here and scrape some of these pollens, try to catch uh, one or two more sheep's head. What's that? This is a white trout honey hole. A white trout honey hole. And the other honey hole is the mangrove snapper. Yep, that Don't be telling everybody where our mangrove snapper honey hole is. Right. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch some. White trout. It's oh. the longest and heaviest fish. A white trout? I'm not even fishing for white trout, Solace. Well, well, it is. Oh, I think you may have the upper hand on me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get him out of the columns. Get him out of the columns. Where, where's my net man? Where's my net man, Si? Good job, son. All right. Now we only got one more crab. Might just have to cut the hook, sir. Si. Here, get it in there and twist it. It'll open his mouth a little bit. Well, time for another hook. We're down to our last fiddler crab, and we've done used up all of our hooks. Down fishing with jig heads now. I'd rather not use jig heads because the hooks are a little bit bigger than what I like. But this is all we got. But the hooks are stronger. And we're going to drop it right where we caught the last one. This is also where I caught that permit the other day. Yeah. Alright, we are now totally out of filler crabs. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of Solace's gulp sand fleas, cut it in half, put it on my hook, and try to catch a sheep head with it. See how that works. Now here's the gulp sand flea. I'm going to take it. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm just going to hook it on this jig head. Close to the point, like that. That's the point of the hook right there. Because they're so picky eaters, they'll just nip it. All right, let's see what we can get now, Si. I just had a bump, Si. They're not holding on to it, though, but I am definitely getting bumps. Oh, my goodness. It broke the pole. That gummit. That had to be a shark. That had to literally be a shark. Wow, guys. That was a big fish. And well, I don't know what it was. It, was. it had some head shakes like a great big sheep head. Look, so I see, see the tip of my pole? Yeah. Big yeah. sheep head broke the tip of my pole. Even stuff like those real. Yeah, that pole is gone. Yep. All right, you ready to go home? Okay. All right, guys, we're about to run to the house. I'm going to fillet a couple of these sheep's head and we're going to put them on the grill. And I'm going to help. And Silas is going to help. We'll see y'all at the grill. Yeah. Here's Silas's sheep head from this morning. And I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to show you how to fully clean these sheep head. They're, they're pretty basic, except for these big dorsal fins. You don't, you don't want to mess with those. They will stab you. They're not poisonous, but they hurt. Yes. Right beside them is a little slot. You can you can run your knife down and get past all these really big scales. To start off, you can pick this skin up right here and slide your knife right behind all those big scales that's really hard to get into and make your first incision there. All right, also, your hands, I son. I also, I need to show you something. I'm not going to go through the entire cleaning process. I just wanted to show you that part of cleaning the sheep head make it a little bit easier. Silas wants to tell you a little something and then we'll meet you in the kitchen. The nose is like right here. The nose is right there. It's pretty All there. right. If any of you guys are marine biologists and know, what are these holes in front of their eyes? Is that their nose? And what is it used for? Particularly on a sheep head. Inquiring minds want to know. See you in the kitchen. We're about to grill these sheep head. I've never grilled sheep head before, so I put it on Facebook, asked my friends to 
I asked my friends to send in recipes and my buddy Andrew Nelson sent me in the simplest and best recipe. And we put down olive oil, then we put balsamic vinegar, mixed it up, had to, and then we put in garlic. He called for lime juice, but we didn't have any lime juice. So the chastity said, put some parsley in it. And we marinate them for 15 to 20 minutes. And what Silas is doing is nothing. He's playing with fish. And, all right, so that's good. We're going to marinate these fish for 15 to 20 minutes, flesh down, and then we're going to put them on the grill. It won't be long, they'll be ready to eat. And they've been on the grill for 20 minutes, and the way you check them is you just get a fork. When it does that, it is done. Look at that. Ah. That's too hot. Ah. I did salt and pepper it. I don't think I mentioned that. But it is, it smells delicious. Mm. That's amazing. Sheep head is really, really good any way you cook it. And I've never had it grilled, but it won't be the last time. Mmm. Thank you, Andrew Nelson, for the recipe. Thank you, everybody else, for sending y'all's recipes in. But Andrew's was the simplest, and it looked delicious, just as y'all's did. And I'm not a very good cook, but I'll try out simple recipes. Silas just left. I hate he's not here to try it. He'll be back in a little bit, and uh, I'll, I'll video him trying it. Silas made it back home, so we're gonna let him try the sheep head. I'm trying to, it's hard to get. I'm gonna fall off my spoon. All right, give it a try, Si. Oh, tastes plain. It tastes fine? Tastes plain. Plain? Okay. <laughs> if it tastes plain to Silas, then it's good. We thank you guys for watching. Always remember, catch a mess, leave, and leave the, the rest. rest. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video.